The number one rule of learning is the art of attention. That's where the observation and presence comes in. 50% of the success is showing up. Thank you that you're here and listening to this video. But just showing up isn't enough, right? You have to be all in. So get rid of distractions and listen very closely. Information combined with emotions becomes long-term memory. How many of you hear a song and it brings you to your childhood? Maybe it's not a song, but a fragrance or food that takes you years back in time. Information combined with emotion became long-term memory because we're not doing things logically. We're doing things emotionally. We're not logical. We're biological. All learning is state dependent. The emotional state that you're experiencing when you're learning something gets anchored to learning. Do you remember what was the emotional state of yours primarily back in school? How did you mostly feel in class? Maybe bored, confused? That's why many people don't remember what they learned because of the emotional state. We all value things like freedom. We want to do the things that we want, when we want, whenever we want, right? And especially if you are an entrepreneur, it's hard to get yourself to do things that you need to do. Procrastination is a real thing for everybody. We all are very familiar with that feeling, maybe too familiar. Procrastination is a devil for us. Why would you put things down? Why would you delay things that are important? Things that will help to reach your goals? And you wonder why that is. Most people who procrastinate are in a state of procrastination. That's the feeling they have. Or they have a poor strategy for executing things and getting things done. Your physiology affects your psychology. The best way to change your state is by moving your body. When your body moves, your brain grooves. You create more neurogenesis, neuroplasticity. Do you know what supports it? Novelty and nutrition. It helps your brain to make more of these connections. Just like your body, if you want to build strong physical muscles, you give it exercise, you stimulate it with novelty, and then you feed that muscle with nutrition. Same thing with your mental muscles. Through novelty, you develop more mental strength. So it's the same thing as physically. You can train yourself to be more stronger and faster. You can do the same things for your brain and mental strength. Also, you can train to be more focused. Information is not enough to motivate yourself to do things. You need to have a good strategy, a clear one, with a step-by-step -step plan, which is not too complicated and easy to follow through. When you achieve small successes, it's easier to stay on task and eventually get things done. If we talk about memory, forgetting is a state. When it comes to learning, a lot of people say, Oh, I have a bad memory. It's always I have. I have memory or I don't have. I have focus or I don't have focus. I have creativity or I don't have creativity. I want you to scrap that. Creativity isn't something you have. It's something you develop. Focus and memory is not something you have. It's something you develop. Energy is not something you have. It's something you do. The benefit of turning it into something we do, as opposite to something we have, is that we gain more control over it. Then we can put it into a process that becomes strategy. There's a strategy for reading faster. There's a strategy for remembering names and having focus. There's no such thing as good memory or bad memory. There's memory that's trained and one that isn't. Your brain is like a supercomputer and your self-talk is a program that runs it. 
you have to monitor your self-talk. If you go around telling people, oh, I have a horrible memory, I'm not smart enough, I'm getting too old. First of all, if you fight for your limitations, you get to keep them. You have to guard your mind because your mind is always eavesdropping on your self-talk. Be aware of what you say and how you talk to yourself and to others about yourself because what you say becomes the truth and your reality.